Good morning. Hello, guys. We thought we'd come on for another episode of Coffee with Home Love this morning. Yes. Um, we're a little more casual today. We are. We had a, a busy real estate weekend, and it's Monday morning. We had a very busy <laughs> real estate weekend, yes. Yeah. Yes, and so, yeah, this is our meeting day, so we wanted to get on, though, and talk a little bit about um, conforming loan limits. Um, I know that sounds really fascinating. Um, right, and maybe, yeah, conf we should explain what yeah. it is exactly. So, what a conforming loan limit, limit is, is the amount, the, the top amount that a loan amount can be to be considered a regular conventional loan instead of a jumbo loan. Right. So the difference between the two, um, a jumbo loan, once it gets up into the territory of being higher than that, um, it's considered high risk. Um, and so they're gonna ask for a lot more financial data to back up the ability to uh, have a loan of that size. Um, and there are, subsequently there will be higher rates because of yeah, it. Yeah, which is the real downer. So yeah. Nobody wants any higher rates. Exactly. So I think that's kind of like this is only going to apply to certain people, but um, it's important to know because with the higher interest rates, if you're looking to purchase or sell a property, either way, that is, it would be up above that. So. Yeah. The conforming loan limit went from 647,200 last year to 726,200 this year. So the 6472 of last year that would have been, a, you know, if you're putting 20% down, that would have been a purchase price of 809,000. And this year with the 7262 um, that would be a purchase price of 907750 with a 20% down payment. And now we understand that not very many people are looking for homes in those price points. And, and yeah, I mean, that's understandable, especially with these rates, but we just thought it would be good information for everybody to be aware of in case you are thinking about buying a second home, a vacation home, or an, an investment property that you might want to turn into an Airbnb. Right. That's definitely one of those instances where you would be looking at something that's a little bit higher like that. Um, and you're trying to keep those costs as low as you can and with the higher interest rates anyway, you know, you don't want it to also couple, be coupled with having to have a jumbo loan, which would increase your cost by quite a bit more. Also, if you're looking to sell a property um, that is, you know, up to $900,000. If you get up over that, um, you're going to have less buyers because they would have to have a jumbo loan in order to be able to buy it. So that's one reason why it's another, it's a good thing. Because if you're actually selling a property that is of that higher price point, then your buyer pool is going to be reduced even more than what it would be right now with higher interest rates. That's so it. we just wanted to keep you all informed. Yes. So. All right. Well, hope you guys are enjoying your January. Um, and we look forward to seeing you again soon. Take care.